Well, in case it wasn't immediately obvious to you, I'm back on my chicken farm permission tonight, on my egg farm. And although it's still late summer, there's an awful lot of rats out in the field still. And to be honest, there's a big maize crop in another farm behind me, and I'm sure that's drawing some rats away. But there's always a lot of rats on the chicken farm here, and keeping on top of them is a year-round job. Um, all I'm going to do is wait till it gets dark and have a little mooch around, see what I can see. The farmer has very kindly baited some spots for me, so hopefully that will draw them out. So while it's still, it's still light, I'll run through the gear. The rifle is a, a Reximex Acura. It's a, uh, a 12 foot pound 22 calibre rifle. I prefer 22 for ratting to be perfectly honest. Um, it's got everything you need. It's an affordable rifle, around about 500 pounds or even less. Um, side lever action um, and uh, runs a 12 shot magazine. It's got a nice big bottle on it and although it's not regulated, with this large bottle, there's a really large sweet spot on it as well. Um, and obviously means with the side lever action, I can get some nice quick uh, follow-up shots as well. The only thing it doesn't come with is a silencer, but I've added one on myself. Um, now the scope is a Hick Micro uh, TE19 Thunder 2.0. It's a thermal scope, so that means that I can obviously makes it easier for spotting rats around the farm. Although having said that, I am also using a Hick Micro Griffin Thermal Spotter um, because that'll just make life easier and it's also got a rangefinder. Right, it's just about dark now and I can see a few rats moving around and there's some pallets by the, uh, the side of the chicken shed there. So that's the first two in the bag. I'm, um, I'm very much aware of the contradiction between using an affordable rifle like this Rexmex Acura and a thermal scope. You know, thermal scopes, let's face it, they are expensive pieces of kits, pieces of kit. But this Thunder, this TE19 Thunder 2.0, is actually a, a, an entry-level thermal in the in the, the context of thermal scopes. It retails for just under a thousand pounds. In actual fact it's, it's manufactured and marketed specifically made for air rifles and rimfire rifles. So uh, it's off to a good start. So rats are obviously quite small um, targets and the thing with the thermal is you know they, they do kind of look the same both ends and uh, it is worth, if you can, just waiting for a little bit of movement sometimes just to make sure that you're aiming at the right end. Uh, I've, now I've seen a few more rats underneath some pallets on the other chicken shed so I think I'll have a wander over there.
Well, that's one of those ones where I couldn't quite tell which way round the rat was. So I zoomed in a, in a little bit and waited for it to move so I could tell which end was the head. And I caught him nice and cleanly. So I'm uh, behind the house that I was shooting at before and um, there's a steel girder that runs down the side of the house and it's hollow and the rats tend to sort of poke their heads out of there so hopefully I get one or two down here. An awful lot of the rats tonight have been sort of under not of, a lot of cover, and I've had to kind of you know aim around things to get them. But that one was right out in the open. Probably gave you an, a, a better idea of the image that you get through this this Hick Micro T19 Thunder. Well, I had to wait a long time for that one. Um, it's getting really late now, so. Uh, I think I'm going to make that the last one. The the Acura has really proven itself over short range of most of these these rats have been shot over 15 to 20 meters. I've got I wouldn't have any concerns about using this at sort of you know 30 meters or so for rabbits. Um, the Hick Micro TE19 Thunder 2.0 has performed really well as well. Um, I've been using it on the lowest magnification to get the, the sharpest image that I possibly can, but I've also used this on FAC air rifles and centre fire as well for foxes, um, out to much further distances, obviously with bigger, bigger targets, and it's performed really well for that as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.
Rich Saunders using the thermal to great effect on the rats there. Next up, I'm taking a look at the super compact BRK Pathfinder XR. What I have here this week is a great little air gun that I've been using a lot on recent hunting trips. Now it's the BRK Pathfinder XR, which is a fantastic and very compact PCP with a very clever folding stock. Now sub 12 foot pound models retail for £1,220 with FAC versions costing about £30 more. The Pathfinder XR weighs about 2.8 kilos. Now, due to its very neat extending rear stock section, overall length varies between 66 centimeters and 75 centimeters. And that adjustment also increases the length of pull from 35 centimeters up to 44 centimeters. Now the mechanism is operated at the press of a button, giving you a choice of six different stops to achieve exactly the fit that you want. This cleverly designed PCP is very compact, but the butt section has another trick up its sleeve to make it even smaller for transportation. Now, if you push that rear section up, it unlocks the retainer, allowing it to be folded right over along the side of the gun, and that reduces overall length down to under 46 centimeters. Now, if you push it back up into the unlocked position, it then swings back out, looking securely in place, ready for shooting. The ambidextrous synthetic stock is minimalistically designed, but it works well. Now, I found myself using the bottle as the forend for my leading hand, and beneath that is a Picatinny rail for accessory attachment. Now, I really like the AK type pistol grip. It's very steep, really comfortably contoured, and set me up very well for the trigger. Apart from those very clever length adjustment and folding mechanisms, the butt section also features a really grippy rubber pad that feels great in the shoulder. Now, the section that serves as the cheek support actually looks quite low, but I still manage to achieve very good eye scope alignment when using it. The new generation of BRK air guns seem to have been made to a very high standard, and that is certainly the case with this one. Now, despite being small and light, it feels to be very solidly constructed. The black finish of the metalwork is really tidy, and it's a great match with that tough black polymer stock. You can see that the stubby barrel is fully shrouded. Now, I really like that chunky shroud. I think it looks great. It also does provide some sound suppression, but there is a thread on there as well, and I actually put a zero dB silencer on there for most of the shooting that I've done with this gun, and it hushed it down to an absolute whisper. You have a choice when it comes to scope mounting. Now, I've been using the Picatinny rails, which give an absolutely rock solid connection, but you can take them off and underneath are dovetail rails. Now the only thing you need to be mindful of if you do that is the fact that the magazine does actually stand proud of the dovetails, so you need to use sufficiently high mounts to clear that. Now, an air gun of the Pathfinder XR's compact proportions would obviously be really well suited to a very compact optic, although I've actually been using the MTC King Cobra, which is pretty large, uh, for most of the testing that I've been doing with it, and the balance is still excellent. Now, I really rate this scope. It provides great optical quality at a sensible price, and I'm pretty convinced that it's helped me to make the most of this air gun's accuracy potential, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. I've mentioned the magazine. It's BRK's tried and tested gate loading version, and a single shot tray is also supplied. Now, this gun is 177 caliber, and that runs a 13 shot magazine, and the Pathfinder is also available in 2.2 with an 11 shot mag, and the 0.25 option runs a 10 shot magazine. Now, it really is a brilliant self indexing magazine. It's pellet friendly and absolutely reliable. 
The cocking and loading mechanism is driven by an excellent side lever action. Now I think it's positioned in exactly the right place and I really like its long, chunky drop down handle. Now unfortunately, it can't be reversed over to the opposite side for left handers. Now that aside, I've got on great with it. It's been an absolute pleasure to use. It's smooth, reliable, and just keeps those shots coming with absolute dependability. BRK triggers have come a long way over recent years, and the one on the Pathfinder XR is near perfect. Now, it has a match type blade, which is fully adjustable, so you can tweak height and angle to get it just right for you. And the two-stage mechanism is also fully adjustable, but this one was spot on straight out of the box. Now the first stage came to an obvious stop before a short, relatively light second stage break, which was crisp and utterly predictable. There's a paddle type safety catch positioned just in front of the trigger blade. Now, most of you will probably know that I prefer safety catches to be further away from the trigger, but at least with this one, you never find yourself pushing it directly back towards the blade and it is very easy to operate. Now it's in the safe position when it's across to the right and you simply push it across to the left when you're ready to take the shot. The Pathfinder offers you different power options right up to 30 foot pounds. And what I have here is the FAC rated 177, which produces up to 18 foot pounds. Now there is a three stop power adjuster dial positioned just in front of the side lever. Now that enables you to wind the power up or down in order to suit different ammunition or different shooting scenarios. Some of you will no doubt have noticed that this air gun is pretty similar to the BRK Ranger. Now the main difference is that shot capacity has been increased by replacing the cylinder with a 300cc carbon Kevlar bottle. Now that has resulted in a serious boost to shot count and sub 12 foot pound models can now return more than 200 shots from a full 250 bar fill. Now when it is time to refill, you simply pull the magnetic cap out from the underside of the forend and then couple up with the supplied foster connector. The Pathfinder XR is fitted with a Huma regulator, so I was obviously expecting pretty good shot-to-shot -shot consistency. Now sure enough, at full power output, consistency was within five feet per second over a string of 10 shots, and that was with pellets taken straight from the tin. Now regulator pressure is displayed on the top gauge on the right hand side of the stock and the bottom one shows you how much air is left in the main bottle. Just like its BRK stable mates, this air gun is capable of some very impressive downrange performance. Now thanks to a good barrel, a good trigger and very consistent power output, this one is easily single holing at 30 meters and it was still producing ragged single hole clover leaf type groups at 40 meters in less than perfect conditions. Now the Pathfinder may not have been designed for target shooting, but it certainly does the job when it comes to precise pellet placement. And I know from experience that it can really cut it in the field. So that is the BRK Pathfinder XR. That's a very compact pre-charged air gun and I'm sure the fact that it folds away so small for transportation is going to appeal to a lot of shooters. Now aside from that though, it's just a very well-made air gun. It's tough, it's accurate, it's nice to shoot and it's covered by a three-year warranty. Now I've had a great time using it on the range and for pest control and I'm sure that a lot of other people will too. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for in this week's episode, but as ever, I'll be back with much more in two weeks' time. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. And do take a look at the great subscription offers that we've got for Airgun World magazine. You should be able to find a link to that in the show description. So, I'll be back with more in a fortnight. In the meantime, enjoy your shooting and stay safe.